Uh, hello audience, I just beat the mission. Uh, well, I didn't. It's a So, um, I gotta go to talk to some guy. I, learned, I didn't know that there was a guy over there and there's other guys over there, so. I gotta talk to this guy. Here you go. It takes a true monster to do something like this. At least they're gone. I should have struck when I had the chance. Do you know where Pitcairn could have gone? Back into the withered bosom of the British, no doubt. So that he may regroup and plan his next atrocity. I need to find him. Every day I wait, more will suffer. Chin up, friend. Many who should have died today now live because of you. And what of them? We do the best we can with what we've got. It is not enough. Here's my new outfit actually. It's that brown one. It's brown and white. And for the support of the glorious cause, well I beg they will accept my most cordial thanks for this distinguished testimony of their George approbation. Washington. But lest some unlucky event should happen, unfavorable to my reputation, I beg it may be remembered by every gentleman in the room that I, this day, Declare with utmost sincerity, I do not think myself equal to the command I am honored with. Truly, as to pay, no man better sir, I beg to leave to assure really? the Congress that I there's no pecuniary seven. consideration could have been me to have accepted this arduous employment. At the do I know of my you? Domestic I would not expect you to remember. I, I do not wish to make someone I want you to meet. I will keep an exact account of my expenses. For your way Those like that, I doubt not they the will discharge, need and that is all I desire. To blues. Connor, allow me to introduce you to our newly appointed Commander in Chief, George Washington. Ah, so you're the one who saved Sam and John at Lexington. It was the Patriots who did that. I merely lent support. As humble as he is brave, we could use more men like you. I'm sorry, but if you'll excuse me, I should attend to Charles over there. He looks none too happy about being passed over for command. It was good to meet you, Connor. George Washington. Tell me you have news of Pitcairn. I'm told he's taken shelter in Boston, where he's guarded by a thousand redcoats. The only way you're going to get him is if we draw him out. Now, lucky for you, we're launching an offensive against the city in order to do just that. Israel Putnam has been given command of our forces. Present this to him and he'll provide whatever aid you require. You'll find him at the encampment on Bunker Hill. Oh. You have my thanks. No need. It's the least I could do. Pitcairn's a dangerous man. The sooner we're rid of him, the better. I would say the same of Charles Lee. Now that's an altogether different beast. Let us leave it for another day. Best you head to Boston, Connor. Can I kill him right like Let me know if he's one of them. I've always room for another pair of strong arms. I can bring his brother Still here, are you? Mm. Nipple, nipple, butt cheek. You know what, this sequence is over. I want to get a white, red, white one. This one looks retarded. Yeah, I think this is a Jamestown. 
This is Jamestown. The Concord was on the blue one. This is the Jamestown and the other one I forgot what it was. I only have one arrow. Ah oh, dang it, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. I didn't want to travel to Boston. Let me run, let me run, let me run, let me run. I think that changed on where the white was and just turned it brown. I jumped off. Oh no, I can't go that way. Thanks. Peace out.